Hi guys, my name is Broughton and I'm a random fish. Hit that subscribe button and let's all be random fishes together, shall we? Now, this video is going to be the last one for a while for me. Uh, this is not a problem, this is nothing like that. I just don't feel as connected to this as I used to and I want to take a step back and I want to see exactly what it is about this that I'm missing, really. Um, I still did the intro because, frankly, I like doing the intro, but yeah, for now, this is me saying goodbye to YouTube, at least for now. Uh, it's not a case of deleting my channel, I'm not walking away from the channel entirely, I'm just walking away from this setup, because this setup is clearly not really going anywhere, I haven't evolved this, cha this channel in any way. Um, I've talked about a few movies that I enjoy talking about, and that's nice, and that's wonderful, and it's great that you guys and the people who aren't subscribed to this channel have watched a lot of the videos, but I mean, it's clear that I'm not particularly great at doing this on my own, and I don't know, I guess I'm just, I'm less, I'm less concerned with that at the moment. And I'm concerned about uh, sort of doing other things. Um, for example, as I have said it before, I am writing at the moment. And I honestly think that one of the better uses of my time might be to take away the time from here and from doing videos for this channel as opposed to just sticking to the writing for now. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to leave you with a bunch of things that I want to recommend. And there's... This one film that I want to recommend to you now that I want to talk about briefly before I sign off. Um, this film, Juliet Naked, currently showing on my TV uh, because I, we found it on Netflix and it's a good film. Um, the reason for this film being something that I recommend now is that for a long time the only Nick Hornby book that I ever watched the film of was High Fidelity. Um, High Fidelity the 2000 film, not the recent 2019-2020 show on uh, over, over on the uh, over on another channel. Um, and it's a good show. Don't get me wrong. I've watched clips of it. I haven't seen it all the way through because I don't have any other subscriptions outside of Netflix. Um, so that's on me more than anything else. But High Fidelity was one of the only films that I truly enjoyed watching all the way through. And when I found out about Nick Hornby, I, of course, have now read the book as well. Um, I have issues with High Fidelity, but they're more to do with my own sense of Britishness over the sense of Americanization that this film has done to it. Um, it's still a good film, don't get me wrong, but I, I, I have issues with the fact that I want it to be set in a British place as it was in the book. I don't like the fact that it was set in America. I don't like it. I know that I know that there were reasons for it and I accept those reasons and I like the film anyway, but I would like to see a British version of this done. I really would. Um, maybe that'll be a project for the future, if that ever happened, which I severely doubt. Um, but this film is based off of another book of Nick Hornby's called Juliet Naked, hence the title. Um, the film is about a woman who is in a relationship with a guy who is obsessed with a former singer sensation, songwriter, singer songwriter sensation guy. Um, she ends up talking to this, the singer songwriter through email. Um, they end up meeting. She breaks up, breaks up with the moronic boyfriend who likes the dude's music because he's a jackass. Um... And, and you know what, I, I I just say go watch the film. Um, you can read the book as well. Honestly, I like the film a lot. I have not as yet read Juliet Naked because, honestly, I didn't read High Fidelity before w watching the 2000 film, but I still enjoyed the hell out of it. Mainly because of Jack Black, but that's neither here nor there at this point. Um, but from what I'm gleaning, Juliet Naked is a good film, and it's, it should be a good book as well. So go check that out. But like I said, that is sort of a final farewell, if you will, from me. Um, this is not goodbye forever, as I've stated. This is just a temporary bye-bye for now. So hopefully I'll see you guys next year. If not, then not. But I don't know. For now, 
run a fish definitely out.